Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I'm here with Mega Good Vibes again. <laughs> We're just hanging out. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel, your beautiful messages. Thank you guys for your support. And of course, a big, huge shout out to my mega crew over on Patreon. So I'm on to do a reading today, guys, because I I'm sensing a lot of tense energy from the masculines. The energy seems very competitive um feeling possessive of the divine feminine maybe feeling jealous some masculines may be at a distance from you and they want to come like they want to come to you they want to just come to you tomorrow um, but they can it's not that simple okay it has to do with a lot of endings for them if many of them want to come towards you um oh she wants a belly scratch oh <laughs> you're so cute babe um yeah if a lot of them want to come towards you it, uh, it, they're going to have to relocate, um, get another job somewhere else. But the thing is, guys, like they don't want to, um, like they don't want to, they don't want to make these moves unless it's like a really good job that they're coming back to. They want to come back to having like their own place because they've watched you, okay, for a while now and, and they want to come towards you as like a king, some of them even an emperor, depending on their age. Uh, because I feel like that's how they see you as like the empress or, or one of the queens in the deck that they, they really want to come towards, okay? Um, and again, like when I say queens and emperors and stuff like that, again, it really just has to do with your age. Like many of you um, are in that empress energy because, you know, you, you're aged. You, many of you are mothers. You uh, you carry your own weight in terms of managing like a household or your family and, and juggling your career and your job and things like that. Okay, and, and then some of you who are in the other energies, you're young still, you may be st still living at home. It doesn't mean that you're still not having this twin flame experience and you're on your way to either independence or um, just wanting to do things on your own and you're having this beautiful spiritual experience with them at the same time. Okay, but yeah, just what I'm getting is somebody who is ready like they're ready to come towards you, but now it's about taking care of business, okay? Some of you might find that you're clenching your jaw a lot. Headaches are a thing right now. Um, just feeling really lazy. Um, you're feeling really foggy. It's like you, you know, when you have a dream and you dream that you're running, but you can't, or you can't run, or it seems like you're doing it in slow motion. That's the energy I'm getting from the divine masculines. But I feel like it's maybe like the divine orchestrating. Um, it's just a pause in the journey for them to really reflect and look at things and, and be assertive and know to make decisions um, that are wise instead of impulsive. And the, the impulsive part is from like watching you very heavily, Divine Feminine, stalking you on social media, wanting to come towards you, um, but not having all of their, you know, ducks in a row, I guess is how you say it. Um, so you know, it's like a, a very frustrating energy. Like, okay, what do they want to say to you? Let's find out what they want to say to you, Divine Feminine. Who, who are these masculines that are in this energy and what do they want to communicate? Okay, so that was a lot that fell out, but I'll take these two. Okay, so I never meant to break your family apart. And I'm no good for you, trust me, Okay. So I feel like this is past energy. Maybe this is past energy that caused the separation where many of you learned. Like you, right now you're good. And, and because of that separation that occurred, a lot of you went off on your own path to independence and, and embracing solitude, okay? That's why many of your masculines are saying that they never meant to break your family apart. Maybe a lot of you reflected and realized that you couldn't juggle the twin flame journey in your long-term relationship or your marriage, for example, right? So many of you are, you know, you, you either will go through, have gone through, or are in the process of going through uh, divorce or maybe even separation, or maybe you don't have the courage to speak about it yet with your partner, but ever since beating your twin flame, you're kind of getting the hunch that this is where this is all going. You know, many of your masculines are in heavy regret. I feel like that's where the jaw clenching comes from, the headaches. Um, it's like this deep feeling of like, what did I do? Like, I can't believe I came towards my divine feminine and I played games and now she's she's gone through so much since I decided to just kind of come in her life. And many of them feel like they came in unprepared, like pages, maybe even nights. And you guys just, 
you surprise them by being maybe so mature or being so ready and yeah it's it's kind of caused a lot of tower moments for you divine feminine many of your masculines have felt the energy when it came to your tower moments okay and yeah, i feel like a lot of them want to apologize or tell you that they're in regret um for that okay so let's find out a little bit about what they're feeling okay so addicted okay and the child i was meant to be okay the child i was meant to be um i feel is about this card here i'm no good for you trust me i feel like you know they've always felt that way is like they're not good enough for you divine feminine like it just may be your energy okay like you are pure they're addicted to your energy because of how you may be very wise you may be very loving you may express yourself unconditionally um, you might motivate your masculine you might believe in them you may have this energy about you where you just want to take care of them and for the life of them they can't believe that it could be that easy you know like you must want something from them in return and you're like no like i i really just want to love you <laughs> but a lot of them because of this addicted energy here they've been stabbed in the back lots of times by past relationships to the point where they can't recognize a good thing when they see it okay um that's kind of been the theme in this journey with you guys but that's also made them reflect on a lot of wounding that they've gone through like why can't they accept this genuine love from the feminine and for a lot of you guys like it's made your divine masculines go on this journey to healing and that's why they're sorry about breaking your family apart because now they're starting to realize you know when they were kids you know and you may have kids divine feminine you know they're starting to realize just how important it is to have like the support of your parents or just have love in your life or you know have nurturing in your life so that way you can accept love healthy love when you're older okay so you're making this masculine reflect a lot about maybe how they were raised or just certain memories that they've had that were yeah just maybe painful when it came to matters of the heart or just love in general okay um how are they feeling for you at this time uh divine feminine you know once they kind of get over this feeling of regret and once they're able to do some healing um you know how are they feeling in their heart okay wow guys again we have the chariot and the knight of pentacles coming through taking action towards you and that's why i feel like communication too is coming through um you know a lot of you can really anticipate that you can feel it and maybe you're questioning it right like okay uh you can feel that something is in the air or your divine masculine is coming closer or maybe that they're going through something okay what would be your best course of action while you feel this energy because i'm getting to that many of you because you can feel the knight of pentacles you feel things in motion you might also be tempted to reach out um, but what would be your best course of action divine feminine when it comes to that maybe you maybe that's a question you have like should i should i reach out should i communicate okay we have the strength card okay and i feel like the strength card is telling you to trust yourself believe in yourself you've been through a lot so far and like you know the night is slow moving and so trust yourself you've got this whatever decision you make um i feel like the strength card is telling you you can't make a wrong decision here there's a difference between chasing your masculine and you know just genuinely expressing yourself um, as a divine feminine or following your intuition as a divine feminine okay so it has to be your choice like you know part of the strength card as well is like making decisions because you know in your heart it's right you're not seeking validation from anybody else you're not wondering if it's the right decision let's ask someone let's get a reading on it let's get a personal reading on it um, like this has got to be something that you've got to do because either way you're gonna have to face the consequences of those actions right whatever they may be it might you know be amazing it might be painful it might be filled with regret it's like whatever it is you have to have the strength to make that decision okay so a lot of you right now i feel too you're trying to decipher the energy that's coming from your masculines like i because i feel like a lot of them are pulling you right a lot of them are pulling you towards them um we have blinded to pain i think in the past they haven't wanted to 
you know, face a lot of the karmic cycles that they've been through. Um, I feel like your presence, Divine Feminine, has caused them to kind of uproot their lives in a way. There's been a disconnect from people that they feel close to or that they have felt close to. Maybe your connection with your Divine Masculine, it could be like one of those situations where everybody would be talking about it. Um, or, you know, it would cause a lot of a lot of people to talk and, and, and maybe part of your divine masculine's lesson is to be able to stand up to those people or to be able to have boundaries in place where he can, you know, have the authority about himself to say, it's none of your business or I don't want to talk about it or, you know, what, it, it it's not up to you. This is my decision. Okay. A lot of them are, are, are going through these types of of, of motions when it comes to making a decision and coming forward and having the plan and strategize like the chariot card says here like in this card she's literally sleeping like she doesn't have time to be you know bothered right now she's relaxed at this time and a lot of ma your masculines can feel that you've earned that rest that you're taking because of everything that you've gone through i like you know the you're you're you've done everything that right now many of your masculines are wish like they're wishing that they can do or they are getting signs on the journey that you know what i'm gonna have to start embodying this type of strength if i want to start making my own decisions you know and it's like now they want to make an offer to this divine feminine because you know they look up to you in some way as well you're responsible too for the type of healing that they've had or gone through you know, many of your masculines are tapping into their spiritual energy ever since they met you. And if it wasn't for you, Divine Feminine, I don't think that they would have been on this path. Um, you are the ones, you are the one who has made them, you know, question everything around them, question everyone around them as well. Um, there, a lot of you masculines are waking up to becoming, you know, like the Divine Masculine. They see you as the Divine Feminine. And so I feel like for a lot of them, you make them stop and question you a lot. Like when they see you, the way that you're just doing your thing, Divine Feminine. Yeah, we have the Justice card coming through, okay? A lot of you are very, um, like you have a big moral compass, okay? You, you do the right thing. And when they see you doing the right thing, it like inspires them to want to do what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the, because of the way you live, like you, you're a person that keeps to your word is what I'm getting with this justice card. You're a fair person, uh, divine feminine. You have a lot of wisdom about you. People may respect you and look up to you. And I feel like at this point, your masculines feel like they really have no choice, um, you know, but to, to, to be truthful, um, to come at you in the way that's like correct. It's like you won't accept anything less. You'll see right through it. And you're one to put people in their place, um, divine feminine. And I I hear too, like many of your masculines, like they respect you. And when you speak and when you have something to say, it's like you silence them, you know, like this might be a divine masculine who could out talk anybody except you, divine feminine, because you, you can see right through them. Um, you know, you're almost like their weakness in a sense. Nobody else can see them or get through to them in the way that you do. And you've been the one to really evoke a lot of change in this divine masculine's life. And, you know, again, this is where all of this anxious energy is coming from. Many of you are at the final leg of, you know, the, the race, like the, the, not that it's a race or a competition, but I just feel like it's just the, the, the final cycle um, going through this whole, you know, third party energy or even obsessing over your counterpart, like all of that energy is dying out. And many of you are attracting new experiences into your life. And for a long time, you felt out of alignment with wanting to attract new experiences. Many of you just kept having that feeling within you come up where it was like, no, I only want to be with my twin flame. No, I only want to be with my twin flame. But the energy inside of you is shifting. You are becoming more open because I've talked about it in past readings as well, where many of you, your vibration, it's, it's shifted. Like a lot of your vibration, it's growing. Many of you have healed your 
kind of um, decluttering your energy a little bit here and you're becoming lighter. So you're attracting new experiences to you based on your vibration. And what's happening is because your energy is a lot lighter, you've gotten rid of a lot of trauma and things that you've held on to that have really held you back from accepting things that are good for you. And now that many of you have decluttered a lot of that, you're saying yes to new experiences because you guys are starting to realize your worth, okay? You're highly attractive right now. The Justice card tells me that, you know, many of you, you've gotten your mojo back, like you're back in the groove of being yourself. Um, and because of that, you're attracting, um, you know, just people along your vibration as well. People who see you for who you are and respect you for who you are. And there's you know, it's it's really the end of like, you know, games or, or mistrust. I feel like for a lot of you, there's a lot of new beginnings that want to occur. Um, and e that, that may very well be with your divine masculines as well, being completely new people. Um, look out for 111 um, as a symbol of that, okay? New beginnings, even if it's with your divine masculine, because they're going to be showing up as a new person. All right? I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading. Catch me on Patreon if you guys want to connect one-on-one, -on -one, join the community. There's a ton of extra readings on there. Um, I would love to have you, okay? Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video, okay? Bye guys.